Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a huge video today because there is a big time SBC that is leaked to be coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team today. And that is the mid icon SBC. I want to talk everything related to how the market could react to a mid icon SBC pack um, that is supposedly and is leaked to be dropping today on Monday in this game. I want to take a look at the price point. How much is going to cost? I want to take a look at SBC fodder. Is that going to go up finally after being so low in price? And what's going to happen to the rest of the market as we are already starting to see some people prepare for this very anticipated SBC to drop on this game on a Monday. I also want to talk about the rest of the market, probably upgrade packs coming today along the lines as these headliner cards and still what we're looking at in this current market at the moment. So if you're excited for today's video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Big thanks again for the milestone 50,000 subscribers. That is legendary. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. So let's get right into it, right? Because this is the big news and this is what we're here to talk about today. These are the official leaks, right? This is one of our very trusty sources from Twitter. Both of these guys mentioned in this tweet, Foot Sheriff and Trusty Foot Trader. They have both said that a mid icon SBC is coming and that say tomorrow, they tweeted it yesterday on Sunday, January 2nd. And it's supposedly coming today on Monday at the 6 p.m. content drop. Now, it also has been uh, leaked and confirmed that it is a non-repeatable SBC. So I want to clear that up first. Unless they change things, it sounds like this is a non-repeatable. It's a one-time, get it done, do the SBC. But this raises a lot of questions, right? How much is this going to cost? And I want to kind of break it down and talk about that because this is a big SBC. A lot of people in FIFA right now have fodder. They've got a lot of fodder to put into something like an Icon SBC um, because we have not had a big Icon SBC like this in like two weeks. And people have been opening 85 times 10s. They've got their Icon swap packs. Uh, people have fodder and clubs full of those types of cards to turn into an SBC. So let's talk about how much this SBC could cost. I'm going to take it back to FIFA 21 when we had our first mid icon upgrade, I believe. And this is also very interesting to note. We didn't get an icon upgrade last year until like the 29th or 30th of January. Uh, and it's the, the 3rd of January today. So a little bit earlier on this year's time frame of FIFA 22. Last year, the mid icon upgrade costed 600,000 coins. But also, this was in the height um, of Team of the Year, where there's tons of SBCs. Yes, there's a lot of packs. But last year, fodder was at a whole different level than what it is right now. If they required an 84, 85, 86, and 86 rated squad in this game of FIFA 22, like right now at the moment with the current prices that we have, it would not be anywhere near 600,000 coins. I think with the current fodder prices, like 86s are 10,000 coins, 85s are like four and a half K. I think that if they drop the exact same requirements as they did last year in FIFA 21 for this SBC, this SBC would only cost you like 300,000 coins. And that to me is too cheap. I think today what they're going to do is I think they're going to make this SBC about 500K. Because if you take a look, the base mid upgrades that we've had so far this year have been kind of cheap, right? And fodder is very low right now. But with the bombing SBC that they released yesterday as, you know, definitely an overpriced card in my opinion, 440,000 coins, I think that they know that a lot of people have invested in SBC cards, fodder cards. They have a lot of these higher rated players in their clubs and they're going to, you know, pay the extra cost to do this SBC because right now in this game, there's not a lot going on. So I think this SBC, this is just my opinion personally, somewhere between 400 and 500,000 coins. If it's less than that, that's crazy. If it's more than that, a lot of people are probably not going to want to do the SBC. So that's kind of like the sweet spot for me. Of course, these icon upgrade SBCs this year, of course, we looked last year and see 600,000 coins. All of them have been a little bit cheaper this year, but that just goes with the whole market, right? Icon upgrades for 300, 296,000 coins. Everything is cheaper this year. So hopefully this, this mid icon upgrades maybe around the 400K range. That would be very nice. Uh, but I think that four to 500K is right around where it will be. And I think a decent amount of people are going to do it, right? Let's say it is in that 400 to 500,000 coin price range, um, especially around the 400K range. If a lot of people are looking to do this, will SBC fodder go up? That's a big question. I really don't expect fodder to go crazy today, especially because this SBC is confirmed 
to be non-repeatable, right? You've already got some cards rising in price. Bruno Fernandez, 22,000, basically 23,000 coins. These cards were, you know, th these 88 rated cards were 20,000 coins flat just a couple days ago on the weekend. They were even under 20,000 coins for some of these 88s uh, at their lowest. Some fodder has already started to rise up in price as people are buying into this and investing in fodder once again. Fodder has not done very well at all this year in terms of, you know, ex except for the very first time earlier on this year when uh, you guys know that fodder absolutely exploded. It was right in here, right? In early November, in the early to the mid-November timeframes, but fodder has absolutely dropped off a cliff um, since the 85 times 10 came out, right? Like right on the 26th of December. And a lot of these fodder prices have really gone down. Now they're starting to come back again, as you see, people are buying fodder. We went from 73 points on the index 86 all the way up into the mid 80s. So upon this announcement of the leak, people are already investing. People have clubs full of fodder. I don't see a way today that a lot of these types of cards really go that high. Unless you bought 86 rated cards, which I know for a fact that some of these 86s were down at like 8,000 coins, uh, you know, literally on Saturday, like during lightning rounds and stuff. Yeah, check this out. 9,000 coins, 8,900. I know that some of them were even cheaper on Friday. Um, I think that, you know, 86s might go to like 11, 12K today. Your 88s might go to like 24, 25,000 coins. I don't expect fodder to boom. That's all I'm trying to say. I don't expect fodder to go crazy. I literally just expect SBC fodder to bump up in price a little bit. And then everybody who invested and everybody who's been holding on to fodder for forever and is trying to get it out of their club, or even like myself, having a decent amount of those types of players on my transfer list that I'm just trying to sell at the moment. I've got lazy listed for like 10 to 15,000 coins over their cheapest buy it now. I've had this stuff on my transfer list for like a month, right? A lot of people have fodder like this and they're tired of holding it. And this might be an opportunity for them where they go and sell it. So I don't think these types of cards are gonna have a crazy rise today, but what this could be is this could be kind of the beginning of the next two weeks where SBC fodder actually might go up. Uh, and you're like, Nate, what? SBC fodder going up? Well, think about it. We are probably, after this headliners promo, we are heading into team of the year. And, you know, they even, EA is starting to very, um, I think this is a very, uh, not conservative, that's not the word I'm looking for, but a very perspective or smart, or they're already starting to look ahead towards team of the year because releasing this Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang SBC for 37 days, this puts this SBC available for this next two weeks of headliners and also throughout, you know, at least half or most of team of the year, which should be coming in the next month, right? During this month of January. This is the type of SBC that people are, are going to complete slowly over this next month as they have extra SBC fodder during team of the year packs, upgrade packs for headliners, more icon swap packs, stuff like that. So EA is getting kind of smart with this stuff and they're starting to put more demand in the store for SBCs. I will see, not in the store, but in the SBC section, we will really see. Now, the thing that I kept saying about SBC fodder going up is that the supply had to stop. And yes, we're still seeing lightning rounds, but they are not running near as many lightning rounds as they did during winter wild cards. We're not seeing the late night, not the early morning lightning rounds. And especially we're not seeing like the 85 plus star packs, 86 plus star packs. We're just seeing the normal 50K, 100K, and 125,000 coin lightning rounds. So. If they continue that trend over these next couple weeks, if they release multiple icon SBCs, and if they, you know, start putting out other types of SBC content, more flashbacks, and if they really go into this mode of, hey, we're trying to drain people's coins before they get to team of the year, which is probably a couple weeks away, then we actually might see fodder slowly rise throughout the next two to three weeks, if that's the scenario. So even if fodder goes up a little bit today, I would consider if you're in it for the long haul, maybe not even selling. That's just kind of my thoughts. Again, EA does whatever with the content, but that's just kind of my preliminary thoughts because we're entering a time frame where it might be time for EA Sports to try to drain some coins off this market before team of the year. So that's the whole scenario with the SBC fodder with the price of the SBC about the Icon SBC today. Now, 
there's already people starting to prepare. And as you would expect, when a leak like this goes live, when people start talking about this, you're going to start to see people sell some cards off. Now, there really haven't been cards that are like crashing on the market by any means. But um, even using some of these most recent Winter Wild cards, for example, I know that this Genduzi was affected in price by the brand new Saverneer that was dropped in the game yesterday as a headliner Saverneer. Genduzi was like 230,000 coins. He was actually 205, close to 200 flat earlier, just a couple hours ago. He's now 213K. But if we take a look across the market, some of these cards have dropped off decent amounts today. And I think this is people selling their weekend league teams, yes, but also starting to prepare for the SBC that is to come. Take a look at Kingsley Coleman. He was like 650,000 coins, uh, multiple points, 670 on Saturday. Now, yesterday, kind of going down to 592, bouncing between there and 640K. That was just a card that I noticed was down. Fabinho was 500,000 coins earlier in the day. He's now 100 or 467 thousand coins. Modric is down like 20,000 coins. So if you take a look across the market, you're going to see multiple instances of these cards dropping a little bit. Gomez Ice is down like 10,000 coins, 15K, and Babu is down a little bit. And if you, again, keep looking around, you're going to find some cards that are starting to slowly drop down in price as people are expecting that SBC today. So I think you're going to see a little bit more of that today heading into the Monday content time frame. Now, also what I think you're going to see is you're going to see people sell off icons and you already started to see this in the market slowly trending down just a little bit. But one of the things that we saw yesterday on the Twitch live stream that was very, very honestly, it was very funny to me is that there was a big drop in price on Rude Hullet. He was like 4.2 or 4.3 million coins. Um, which is usually like four, six, four, seven. Uh, and it just, it seems crazy to me that people are, think about the small amount of people that are actually going to pack a mid hullet on the game today from this mid icon SBC. So that's the kind of stuff, mid icons, prime icons, even baby icons that are out of packs. One thing you could do today is depending on what your budget is, you could absolutely look for panic selling on icons because when this SBC drops today, it is probably going to take some coins off the market. And that's the number one thing that I would say to watch out for on this game today is uh, panic selling on some of the icons because we've seen it time in and time out. Like this uh, this mid Maldini is down to 1.65. That's really low for him. Uh, you know, these types of icons bounce back. So take a look and try to find some icons. If you want to try to trade in this market today, watch for those out of pack special cards that are very popular and very meta, like the winter wild cards or stuff like that. Maybe even some of the headliners. Those of course are in packs, but your most popular and your most meta out of pack special cards, people are going to go do that SBC today. Let's say they have Anthony Martial on their team. They want to go do the icon SBC. They sell Martial to go do it. They get some coins. They do the SBC. Oh man, I didn't get anything good. Then I go buy stuff for my team back. So just be aware that probably today on the market, there are going to be some coins taken away. I think when the SBC drops, you are going to see some more prices drop down as people react to it. People that didn't know about the leaks will go and maybe sell some cards and go and do the SBC. So that's where I would be looking on the market today. Some panic selling after the SBC is dropped on your most meta popular and rare items that you would expect to bounce back in, in price because they're just, again, very popular, a rare and meta cards that are popular to use right now and that most people are using right now in this game. So I would 100% watch for that. Again, a slight fodder rise and then some icon panic and, and a bounce as well. I really do think that the market would bounce back from this just because the market right now with the content not being that hot, yes, a, a base icon is, is gonna bring some hype to this, or a mid icon is gonna bring some hype to this game and it's gonna make some people sell cards to go do that SBC. But I also think people are gonna buy those cards right back and if you pick the right ones, you'll be able to make some really good flips out of this market today on Monday in this game. Now also, we're at a very interesting impasse with these headliners because today is also the uh, worldwide payout of Foot Champions rewards early today on Monday. We have the new mini release cards, Serge Nabry um, and the Savernier card, which we talked about in yesterday's video, are definitely the top two in terms of most popular and most sought after. This Nabry card looks really great. I mean, 98 acceleration. Some people have said this card is really, really good in game. Sprint speed is not there for sure, but he's probably very, very quick on the ball. 200,000 coins. I, I think 
The one thing about the market that I have to say today is that with this mid icon SBC coming out, I do believe there will be a lot of people that would hold off from buying cards. Um, a lot of times after weekend league rewards, we saw this last week with the winter wild card items, their prices really started to rise after weekend league rewards because there was nothing else to do except go out on the market and, and maybe buy these cards to try out the brand new cards that everybody wanted to try out and that were hype and stuff like that. But at the moment with, with the headliners that we have, the promo isn't really that hype. And I think more people are going to be excited about the potential icon SBC for today and other content like player picks and stuff like that. So I really, I really can't sit here and say, Hey, I think these winter or the headliner cards are going to fly today after week in the rewards, because I really don't think that's going to be the case. Um, some of them have bounced around very nicely in price. And some of them are down like Van Dyke is 600 K Kula Bali's 200,000 coins. That's down. Um, Mbappe, he watched it. I actually flipped an Mbappe today. I bought Mbappe at 4.15 mil and sold it at 4.5 million coins for a nice little over 100,000 coins of profit. He is back down to like 4.25. So his price is down for sure. Um, I just don't see with the, not a lot of hype on these cards. I think they're going to go lower later this week, especially with the compensation, which we talked about in yesterday's video, still looming on this game and on this market at the moment for today. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market today, right? I think there is going to be some drop off. I think there is going to be some panic selling this morning. Um, you might see a few cards rise after rewards, but you're also going to see people sell stuff continually. Um, maybe some of these out of packs cards, um, you know, trading right now on this market is very interesting because it's very quiet. You're doing a lot of fluctuation trading, a lot of chem style position change trading with the brand new cards. That's what I did with Acuna. And Savernier, I bought a lot of these Saverniers at like 110,000 coins or even like 105 to 110, sold them at, you know, 120 to 130 with chemistry styles and position changes applied to them like the shadow or something like that. So that's kind of how I was making coins. But today there's going to be a lot of market movements because that icon SBC to trade around. So it's going to be a good day for movements on the market. I don't know if EA is going to bring out any sort of store content. Again, like we've said, when they dropped the first base icon pack, you guys will all remember this two months ago at the beginning of November, they dropped preview packs as well. I would be very surprised if they dropped preview packs on the same day as um, a mid icon upgrade SBC. I really feel like today's content is going to be the mid icon upgrade SBC and some sort of upgrade pack, uh, whether it's the 80 plus player pick, the 78 plus player pick getting re-released some sort of upgrade pack, or maybe even multiple. We had the 81 to 87 that was released last week too. That's a potential SBC, uh, you know, upgrade SBC that could be coming out. Last call for Thomas Muller SBC, his is expiring. Um, of course, the brand has definitely, definitely not had that high of reviews um, on this game at the moment. Not a lot of other stuff is really expiring that means much. Um, but again, the bombing SBC yesterday was just, I mean, this SBC alone is 440,000 coins. And a lot of people are saying you should do this instead of the, um, the mid icon upgrade, which is honestly not that bad of a shout. You get a guaranteed Premier League striker with some pace and a four star, four star with a pretty nice card upgrade. Uh, I just think that that bombing on the market would be somewhere around like 250 to 300,000 coins, or maybe even a little less than that. So that's why I'm not a huge fan um, of that card being the price that it is in the SBC section right now. So again, as we're looking at the market right now, and as we're looking at a lot of these cards, prices stuff is dropping down a little bit. And I think you're just going to see a little bit more of that today on Monday, a few cards will rise after rewards, like I mentioned, but it's all going to be about this icon pack. And when people get worried about an icon SBC coming out, they just panic, right? Because everybody loves these icons. Even though it's not repeatable, I still think there's going to be a lot of hype for it today. Um, and one thing that's going to be very interesting to watch out for when they drop this SBC today is we're going to have to see how long is this SBC available? Because if it's only available for like three or four days, maybe, you know, less than that, like usually they give you more than two or three or four days to finish an icon upgrade. It's usually available for seven days. But if it's only available for a short time frame, that would almost tell me that EA plans to release another one sometime later on or to keep them fresh and to keep the coins being drained off of the market. 
that will be something I'd watch out for. And we'll just have to kind of keep in mind today as well. So it's going to be a big day, a lot to talk about, a lot to watch. We're going to watch it all live from twitch.tv slash the foot accountant. That link is down below in the description. When the content goes live, we'll be live taking a look at it and watching the market and trading uh, and reacting to that. It'll be a lot of fun. So make sure you get involved there. And of course, happy Monday, start to a new week. Hopefully this week is um, accompanied by some nice content by EA Sports because the weekend has been a bit of an L. Aubameyang is a cool card, definitely overpriced. Brandt was just okay. And the cards that are in packs are just okay as well. Slight update. I know you guys probably saw the game yesterday, but the Kovacic versus the Kieta Chelsea Liverpool game. What a crazy game. Both players are going to get a plus one. So Kieta is going to go to an 88. Kovacic is going to go to an 88 as well as those teams drew. So a plus one is what we are in for uh, from those cards. Probably in the next two to three days, I would imagine that they update those. And again, EA Sports, can you please add dynamic images to these items? Because they just look weird. Seeing them on Footbin or on the uh, like the little logos inside of the game with dynamics um, and then nothing here on the game. So that's my other question to EA. Can we please update these dynamic images? Um, also be on the lookout for an update today from EA FIFA Direct about the whole compensation situation um, because that'll probably be updated here pretty soon. And then I think we'll actually see that compensation later on this week. That's just my opinion, but we will see. So that's the video for today, boys. It's going to be a massive day on FIFA with a mid icon SBC, a lot of hype around that. I think people are going to get excited for it. It all depends on the price, in my opinion, to see how much activity that SBC gets on the game today. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>